and today I'm going to be doing my guide to teen books for the holiday season. So this video is going to be the first of two gift guides that I'm doing for this holiday season. So this one is all about books and all about the hottest young adult or teen books as bookstores usually call them. Um, so it's the hottest ones that have come out this year and it's also some that I recommend for like the dog lover on your list, the hopeless romantic, like things like that. So I'm going to be going through this list um, first with the top new releases for this year but most of those are like the next in the series so that's why I'm going to also be going through and saying like for the blah 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 on your list and giving a re recommendation based on that but um, I do have a lot of recommendations videos for specific genres so if you like you know whoever you're trying to buy for is interested in historical fiction I have two recommendations videos for that or whatever I have like contemporary I have um, just romances like I have a ton that I have done so I will link those down below for you guys and I'm also going to be listing the books that I am recommending today in the description. I don't do that for all my videos just because a lot of people said that they wouldn't watch my videos, they would just read the list and I work too hard on my videos to kind of let that happen. So just for this video because it's going to be kind of easier and especially since you're making a list off of it, I think it'll just be easier if I list it in the description. And the next gift guide that I'm going to be doing is for bookish merchandise. So it's going to be like t-shirts and like um, apparel and different like decor and stuff like that that has to do with books and that book lovers would really enjoy but it's not like an actual book because sometimes if someone really loves a book you don't know what's on their shelves and you don't want to get them a book that they already have so this is going to be ideas for that person. And also one final announcement from my regular viewers, I'm going to be changing the name of my channel and I'm going to be officially announcing it on Wednesday, November 30th because it's my birthday so it's just kind of like a birthday name change celebration. So stay tuned for that video on Wednesday as well. So first off I wanted to talk about six of the hottest releases for 2016. So the first one is The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the long-awaited and very bittersweet conclusion to the Raven Cycle Quartet by Maggie Stiefvater. So it is the fourth book and it is fabulous and it's definitely going to be a, on a lot of Christmas lists this year. Although it did come out a little while ago, I think there still might be some people who haven't quite gotten to it yet. The same can be said for A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. This book is the second book in the Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't even know how many books there are going to be anymore. Apparently there's eight but I think some of them aren't in the main series so I don't even know but this was a fabulous book it was long awaited and it was just so so good this one though I wouldn't recommend for readers who are under probably 15 just because it is a little bit on the borderline of um, young adult and new adult next up is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo this is the conclusion to the Six of Crows duology and I haven't read it yet but I really have been meaning to and I know that a ton of people have been coming into the bookstore where I work looking for this book so I have a feeling it's gonna be on a lot of people's lists. Next up is a book that is undoubtedly on a ton of people's lists if they haven't picked it up yet and that is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. This is the latest book in the Throne of Glass series and it is also by the author of A Court of um, Mist and Fury that I showed you earlier and same thing with this one. I wouldn't really recommend it to readers um, to buy for someone who is under 15 just because it is a little bit more mature but it is fabulous and if they've read the rest of the series then they are definitely going to want this one. And there is a copies at Chapters Online so definitely go and check that out because it's definitely she's a fabulous writer so they're gonna want a signed copy if they can get it. Next up is actually a standalone and that is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Marissa Meyer is the author of the Lunar Chronicles which a ton of people really really love and this book is completely separate from the Lunar Chronicles but it is just as good if not even better. I think I enjoyed it even more than the Lunar Chronicles but it's about the Queen of Hearts before she's the Queen of Hearts which is just so cool and I highly highly recommend recommend it. And the last book as far as hot new releases for 2016 in the teen department go is one that I actually don't even own yet but I really need to get and that is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff which is the second book to Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff which I absolutely adored. It's such a cool sci-fi story and I can't wait to get my hands on Gemina because I think it's going to be fabulous and as far as I know it's like a companion to it so you don't necessarily have to have read this one to read the other one which is kind of cool. So now for 
kind of my random recommendations. I'm not going to be able to give a synopsis really for any of these books just because I do have a ton of books to talk about, but I will link the Goodreads page to them down below so you guys can go and check it out and see if it's something that interests you and you can read more reviews on it. So the first one is for the poet on your list or just the writer and that is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. I almost forgot what it was called, but this book is really great for a poet because the writing is so abstract and it's just a really abstract magical realism story about a girl who was born with wings and you get to follow her story and all the women in her family throughout like um, a few generations and it's just such a beautiful story full of whimsy and the writing is absolutely fantastic and I think that any writer would be able to appreciate that. Next is for the fairy tale lover on your list or the lover of retellings and I do have a whole recommendations video as far as retellings go so I will link that down below for you guys but what I'm recommending today is Entwined by Heather Dixon. This is a retelling of the 12 Dancing Princesses fairy tale and it is so well done. I absolutely loved it and I just think it's such a magical story that really takes this fairy tale and like stays true to it but also making it their own which makes which is really what makes a really successful retelling. I just realized I totally forgot to do this but I can change my lights to Christmassy so wait for it wait wait ta-da let's make it brighter so Christmassy! Anyways, next up is for the hopeless romantic on your list and I do have a whole video about YA romances that I put up last week so I'll link that down below for you guys but today I'm recommending The Selection by Kira Cass which I also included in that video because this book is just like my favorite romance. It's one of my guilty pleasure reads because I just love it. It's like The Bachelor but instead of The Bachelor being just a normal guy, The Bachelor is actually a prince and all these girls are competing to win his hand and it's just so fabulous and just the whole romance throughout this trilogy makes my heart melt and then there are two more books that are kind of companions to it that are really good not quite as good but they are really good as well and I just think this is like the ultimate romance. Next is for the person who's kind of out of the box on your list like they really like weird but really funny things and for that I'm recommending My Lady Jane which is by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows and this book I recommend for that because it is so funny and it's a story that really shouldn't work but it does. I mean it's like historical fiction but you have people turning into animals and it's just hilarious. Next up is for that person who really likes to get engrossed in a book and really likes to kind of play along with it and lose themselves in that world. So for that person I'm recommending The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson and this one is perfect for that person because there is kind of an interactive element to it because there are two people, basically this girl ran away on the day of her wedding and there are two guys following her. One is the assassin who was sent to kill her and the other is the prince who she was supposed to marry and you don't know who is who throughout the book and you are trying to kind of figure it out along with this as the story unfolds along with the main character and it is so cool highly recommend and it's like hard to guess but I guessed right so yes I loved it. Next up is for the gamer on your list and for them I am recommending Cure for the Common Universe by Christian McKay Heidecker. This book is so good and it follows a guy who is in video game rehab so there are a ton of gamer references that only gamers will get and they will just so appreciate this book even more than I did because I'm not really a gamer. I mean Sims is the extent of my gaming but they will really appreciate this story because there are so many references to different really popular video games so I think they would really enjoy this one. Next up is for the history buff on your list and for them I'm recommending Salt to the Sea by Rudis Apetis. This book I think just has something that even if you don't love history you'll really love but if you do love history you'll appreciate it even more because it follows all of these characters um, during the tail end of World War II and they're in Germany and they're all fleeing from various parts of Europe and they're trying to get to safety and it's really the story of them trying to survive despite all odds and it is a beautiful story, super touching and if you don't go for this one please get The Book Thief because that is like the best book in the whole world and you really just should get that 
for everyone because it's a story that will stick with you forever. But this one also has that quality, so I think that this one is a really great one. Next up is for the mystery lover on your list, or even the person who loves psychology, and for that I'm going with Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. This follows Hitler's niece, and you see her trying to figure out the mystery of how her father died because it's not really all that it seems, and she's figuring out alongside this Jewish reporter, and at the same time she's really exploring the psychology of Hitler, and it's such a fascinating book because it does take that kind of psychological um, exploration, and it's just really interesting. There are people walking by with like giant poles, and I'm very confused right now, but yeah, highly recommend! Next up is for the dystopian lover on your list, so that is any fan of The Hunger Games or Divergent. I'm going to be recommending one that you may not have heard of, and that is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This book isn't out yet, but it is coming out the day that this video goes up, but, so by the time you see this video it will be out, and it is really a cool story because it's a world where there's no death anymore. It's basically a utopia, but it's also a dystopia because, I mean, utopia is never really as it seems, but basically there's no death so there are these people who are called sides and their um, role is to go and kill people so then the population won't get out of hand so it follows two characters who end up being size apprentices and it's their competition to see who can be the scythe because it can only be one of them so it's a totally different take on the dystopian genre which is kind of it's hard to find unique things within that genre a lot of times and I think it was fabulous it was really well well done and Neil Schusterman is a fabulous author. His Unwind Dystology is also another great dystopian. Next up is for the dog lover on your list and for that one I'm going for The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This book follows a dog walker so there are so many dogs in it and it does like dogs aren't the main focus of it. I can't really read an uh, animal books because I just know that something's going to happen to the animal and it just makes me really sad so this one is definitely safe if you don't like when dogs like die in a book or whatever which is absolutely why I won't read The Dog's Purpose because that's literally the plot of it is the dog dies and I would be a sobbing mess. Already made the mistake of seeing Marley and me but anyways this book is so great because you do get the pers like you get the dogs and they are just described in the cutest way and I just loved seeing her interact with these dogs and they play a hand in the romance in the book which is also great. Next up is for the hardcore fangirl or the Harry Potter fanatic and for this one I'm going with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowling. This book is perfect for the fangirl, not only because its name is fangirl, but because people who are huge, like, huge in fandoms can really appreciate this book because it really captures the world of fandoms very well and I just love the characters in this story and it has more than just that fandom plot going on in it as well, which is really great and I just think that they would definitely really enjoy this. Next up is for the person who is really passionate about social justice issues on your list and for that one I'm going with The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. This book deals with a lot of really important social justice issues and it takes a look at them in a way that is really unexpected and it is a great story at the same time while dealing with these important issues. And the final book on this list is for the person on your list who loves photography, and for this one I'm going with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. This book is not only a really cool kind of paranormal story, it's not as creepy as the pictures make it seem, but it does have pictures in it, and let me see if I can show you guys one, but I'm going past literally all of them. Oh my god. Yeah, so it has all of these little pictures that the author actually found and built the story around and it's just such a cool story and I think especially if you're into photography you would really appreciate this. So those are all of my top recommendations for teen books for the 2016 holiday season. Like I said, I have a ton of recommendations videos on specific genres and kind of topics so I will link those down below for you guys if you do have someone who's looking for like um, realistic fiction or um, historical fiction or fantasy like I have videos on all of that so it's just easier if you go and watch those videos so I will link those down below for you guys so there's gonna be a ton of stuff down below but definitely go and check it out because I think it would be really helpful for you so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>